Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is World War 2613 bringing you another video right here, right now, today. Well, more like tonight for me, today for any of you who are watching. And maybe tonight for whoever's watching later on. Or maybe it's like two years later you're watching this. Or maybe you're watching it in the past. I'm just kidding, that's not possible. Well, actually, it is possible to watch it in the past because I've already done this game. Well, at least two parts of it. Maybe more. I'm not sure. I lost track. Anyway, the game we're going to play is very familiar. The game is The School, White Day, or White Day The School. Either way, it's a very fun, interesting game. We've already started it to get an idea of what's going on. And I want to do it, I'm going to start a whole new game on the normal difficulty, right off the bat, right away, jump right into it. No time wasted. Let's just go for it. Now, this game is actually way better in its English version and the way they do it. Uh, we already know all this, so I'm going to skip all this because we've already seen this. I've already shown this. That hasn't changed. What has changed is the interaction between characters and the language being spoken because obviously when it was played on the other on my channel before on the PC, it was Korean. <laughs> yep. It was all spoken in Korea. So it was very hard to even, you know, comprehend what was going on besides without reading the subtitles. And it's very hard to focus on the game and my commentary and the subtitles all at once, which made it very uh, annoying. So, I'm going to go ahead and play this game here while I'm at work. You know, But I'm going to go ahead and kill the lights in the room I'm in to make it dark. And I mean super dark. That's right. Dark as dark can be. Because we're going to select our controls. We're going to stick with the normal ones because I didn't see no problems with that. And obviously... Now the game itself runs smoothly. There is no question about that. But the game runs extra smooth on this. It just feels a little weird because obviously... Yeah. There's a lot of tabby. I should go to Junior Homeroom 8 first. Okay. There's text messages here. And you scroll through here to read everything. Like I said, I've done this first part, so this will be a, a, a quick run. But I don't want to waste too much time on this. I'm going to be as fast as I can through the tutorial roll here. Because we already know how to play this game. That's not too difficult to understand. Like I said, it really hasn't changed gameplay wise. It's just how you control everything has changed, obviously. But it runs very smooth, so there's no question about that. So you don't have to worry about that. Let's see here. School magazine. And then down here. Soy milk. Which we can use the item, but there's no point in using it now if we haven't really done anything yet. I think there's someone else in the school. Yes, there is. We already know there is. Now, the felt tip 10 now is not used to save the game. It's now used to write notes. In case you need to write notes. But I still think it's probably used to save the game. I'm not 100% sure. Like, I'm not 100% sure on that because I don't, it's, like I said, I don't know how different it is. Like, in PC version, it plays like Resident Evil, except first person, so where you have to save wherever you can from that area. Okay, so it's dark in here, so we can't collect anything, so we have to do the whole turn on the light. I don't know why we slid that way. Ah, scary. But no, we can actually see our character this time. 
Last time we couldn't see our character, but now we can. At least I don't believe last time we could see it, but... There's nothing in these bathrooms. I checked them when I first played this, so we don't have to worry about those. Last time we could find goodies, but this time we never found anything. So like I said, some stuff has changed. Alright, now here's the biggest change, right here. Hmm. How do we get in? Yeah, I wonder how we can do it. Ah! Oh my, you totally startled me just then. Okay, I was quiet on that part because I wanted you guys to hear the commentary, well not hear the commentary, but hear the dialogue of this game, and understand like how crazy it is, and it, now if you understand, if you've watched the first part of my original on the PC version, she was very hateful, mean, and just cranky, and we have to pick our own name, but now we don't get to pick our own name. We play as the character himself, and nothing else. You can call me a pervert. All I did I say you know was, you, you want me to do awesome. stand here while you go to your business? Well. Like, what? What? What's the point of being in there? That's all I was asking. That's not being perverted. Why don't you do it? But fine. Snappy much? Jeez. But of course, the, the items haven't changed very much. We, we use. Jeez, I hate that. Like, automatically open the door, but then it wouldn't let me out of the door. Here, which the note has no importance, and there was a full pin here, but now there's just that. Now there's just a ladder, and right there. Oops, dropped that real fast. Right here is your bolt cutters or wire cutters. I guess wire cutters would be the proper term. Now we actually have hands, and it actually shows us holding the object. Before we just lifted it up and floated it, we couldn't really look at what we were doing. It's like I said, it's a lot better than what it was. And obviously we can automatically automatically open the door while still holding this. And we don't have to wedge it through anything or do any tricky maneuvers. 
It's more, it's smoother, although I still think this would be probably better on play console, but they decided to stick with PC and the phone, which makes it very irritating to be honest, and I really wish they'd make it to console. Amnesia got put on PS4 recently, along with Pineview Drive, and I'm working on buying, I worked on buying those games and stuff. Right now I'm trying to get them to play, record, and I'm trying to bring them to the channel, slowly but surely. But however, that may or may not happen. It's just it's very difficult at the moment because of my setup that I have, because I do have my computer back working again. It's just the issue is, is I can't do anything yet. So obviously we're going to watch this again. This is a little different. And moving on. Like, it was very weird, and it still is weird to watch that. Wait, now I'm confused. Oh, okay. Sorry, it just blended in in a weird way. Oh, seems like we still have to do the whole Steam deal. So, let's try it. Now oh, there's cobwebs here, which makes that fun. There's nothing over here. No, oh, there's this over here. All right, close that valve. We should be clear now. So let's go ahead and quickly move and get going. Oh, wrong way. Back up. I think I got lost in here last time, and we spent like 5-10 minutes in here, but I think now we've got it figured out. Yep, I think we do. Document says that yeah. Now we just got to figure it out here. Does make this tricky.
does make this tricky. Even though I'm just pushing random buttons, but I am seriously trying to figure this out, guys. Starts here and goes down there straight away, it doesn't do anything else. Resistance wiring is twisted and the metal wires are seriously cor corroded. It will take a few more days to start working on that one. Okay, if the corrosion leads to an overload, thus turning on to go off, it can be shut down by temporarily by connecting the third and fourth socket. Oh. Oh, there it went. See, it helps if you read the damn note. Huh. Well, see, last time it just opened the vault and that was their little locker and that was it. But this time I decided to throw it on the ground. A metal token. Alright. We probably can't open the door. Huh. Maybe we can. Alright, let's go for the door. Huh. Well, why are you so proud of waiting? Huh. Not bad. Thanks a lot. You're not trying to scare me, are you? Well, apparently you're that stupid, uh, too. You know? This school used to be a hospital during the Korean War. Rumor has it the whole school is haunted. Because so many people died here during that time. Maybe the rumor's true. I mean, especially... on a night like this. Oh! <laughs> Did I scare you? I guess you don't like ghost stories, huh? I think now we're just taking her off. What do you think? Ugh, you're so annoying. Ugh, you're so annoying. Yep. That's all she says now. I wasn't trying to take her off or anything. I was just trying to, uh... Figure out if she says anything else. I guess she doesn't. Now, the issue we're going to have here is the janitor because... The janitor's going to be a pain. It's, it's been a pain for a lot of times. And to be honest, I can't hear him. So probably there's been a lot of times getting found. Yeah, like this.
gets terribly angry. If he catches you, the punishment is harsh. What do you mean? Um, anyway, he's nice in the daytime. You're the transfer student. I'm in your homeroom. Remember? You know so young? Well, I guess everybody knows her, actually. I'm Jion Sol. You're human Lee, right? Anyway, what are you doing here at this hour? I think you're incredibly brave. All alone this late. Tell me something. I always see you alone. Don't you have friends? I wasn't trying to flirt with everybody else, I was just trying to be nice because I didn't because the other dude sound like a douche. Okay, when a janitor is nearby, an eye-shaped icon will display on top of your screen. When the gauge the level of the character of the danger by checking on this icon, please note that your chances of getting caught increases if you turn run or turn on the lights. But I need to see. So I'm supposed to assume that the janitor's nearby right now, but I should be fine at the moment. At the moment, because I'm not going to run right now. I'm just going to hurry up and grab my stuff in this room. Okay. Now, last time we had Lin uh, Selena Gomez in here, which, oh my god, that was annoying. Ladies and gentlemen, since we're here, we're going to go ahead and end the video right here because we've already went a long ways into the video. And I think this is good enough. This is, for, this is where we left off the last time. This is where we leave off today. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed it. It seems like the characters, each character now, are pretty different in this. I'm going to go ahead and pause real fast here. I don't really want to deal with anything going on at the moment. But I'm going to pause right here. Now ladies and gentlemen, the way this is going to work is I'm going to try and upload as best I can, as fast as I can, and as soon as I can. The issue with that is, is that it may take some time because, you know, sometimes people are busy. So understand that. Everybody gets busy. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the video. If you are new to the channel, please, I welcome you to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you want to, you know, be part of the community. If you want to get notified when new videos come out. Because I will keep on making videos until I die. There is... No way I'm going to stop making videos. I'm going to be an 80 year old man making videos. And that's probably the oldest YouTuber there is. I don't know. I'm not going to quote on that. And do not quote me on that actually to be honest. Because I'm not sure what, who is the oldest YouTuber there is. I'm pretty sure there is somebody out there. I'm not trying to go for records. I'm not trying to go for fame. I'm just doing this for fun. It's amazing. I love it. It's awesome. Now be sure to like, sub, and comment down, down below if you are just really enjoying the videos and just enjoying everything else so thank you again for watching but before i go i must say i do have one shout out to give to a good friend of mine uh, named joshua 
or Josh Fish, I'm sorry to say. Um, now he he's a very kind-hearted kid who has always been very supportive. He's always been nice, and he's never had much of a bad personality, as at least I've seen. And there's no reason you could be ever angry at this kid. Now he is um, he's a he's special, I guess. I don't want to say like I guess you could say handicapped, um, but he's more like he was born he was born in a way that he has to have a electric chair a wheelchair to move around and he's got a little joystick there i keep telling him he needs to get a uh, go-kart battery so he'll go back he'll go around faster but i guess he hasn't taken my idea yet i'm not sure but he knows me by my name and i know he's probably watching these videos because he loves getting the news about it and he's actually become a real fan of the channel and it's really awesome because I didn't know he was a fan of the channel until just recently he told me. And I thought that was really cool. No, I'm telling you, Josh, if you're watching this, I give you a big thumbs up. Thanks, man, for watching. And just let me know in the comments down below if you have any um, ideas or thoughts you want to tell me. I'll be happy to reply back in, your, in the comments. And I have no problem. Obviously, my real stick rule is, is that if anybody who knows me personally as in knows my name my real name or anything about my life please do not mention it all in the comments because i am working on a deal where if i reach 500 subscribers i will release my first name and then i will use my first name in my videos from then on after i have reached 500 subscribers if i reach 5,000 subscribers i shall do a face reveal and I mean a true, actual face reveal. I'll do a video log, I'll have one of my friends hold the camera, and I will present myself physically from head to toe of what I look like if I reach 5,000 subscribers. And then we'll just build on from then on and then on about the videos and everything else, depending on how everything goes. But thank you for watching again. Be sure to like, sub, and comment down below. Again, I keep on saying thank you because I mean it. So I've had some of my friends tell me about that. You say thank you too much. No, I say it enough because you just can't say thank you once and be done. No, you got you to say thank you plenty of times. So again, thank you. This is Roadrunner2613 saying beep, beep.